South China Morning Post, 13th of April 2024, Pakistani police attribute the broken switch terror cell of a Taliban branch to the deadly attacks on Chinese workers. Five Chinese nationals were killed in a vehicular suicide bombing in Pakistan's northwest Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province last month. Police investigations into the incident have turned up evidence connecting it to a similar attack in the exact location in July 2021. Three senior police officers told This Week in Asia, under the condition of anonymity because they are not permitted to speak to the media, that they believe the same faction of the Pakistani Taliban, which is led by militants originally from the Khoistan region, is responsible for both attacks, which targeted employees of China Gajoba Group Company CGGC, working on a dam. In both instances, as a convoy of security escort cars and buses transporting workers from the Dasu Hydropower Project attempted to pass them on the Karakoram Highway, the only overland route connecting Pakistan and China's Xinjiang region, suicide bombers detonated explosives-laden cars. In July 2021, nine Chinese nationals lost their lives in an earlier attack on the highway. Used Japanese vehicles were used in both bombings, a Suzuki Vitz this month and a Honda Accord in 2021 were driven across the border from Afghanistan. Police tracked the movements of the suicide bomber from Coast City in eastern Afghanistan to the Chaman border crossing in western Balochistan province of Pakistan by using a SIM card that was found at the scene of the attack on March 26. Although DNA testing is being done, police are sure that the attacker was an Afghan national. He is believed to have traveled more than 1,000 kilometers north from Chaman to the town of Chakdara, navigating several security checkpoints in places that have been the target of assaults for a long time without having his car, which was packed with explosives, inspected. Shafi Ahmed, who worked at a government school in Khoistan, allegedly met the bomber at a vehicle dealership in Chakdara, according to the police. Ahmed traveled with the bomber on March 15 from Chakdara to Bishan, the location of the bombing. After leaving the car overnight at a nearby gas station, they proceeded the following day to the Yogi district, a neighboring isolated region infamous for serving as a haven for terrorists and criminals, where they were to meet Hazrat Bilal, the head of the terrorism cell and a fellow Kohistani. Police claimed that Bilal was also involved in the attack in July 2021, but he has consistently changed his appearance to avoid being apprehended. On March 26, at 6.17 a.m., the suicide bomber and his guide returned to Bisham and waited for the CGGC convoy. Authorities knew the convoy would arrive since workers were transported from Dasu to Islamabad every other day at predetermined times. Ahmed watched the convoy arrive in Bisham as a spotter at 12.49 p.m. He notified the bomber, who began his strike 11 minutes later near Lahore Nulla, about 3.5 kilometers ahead. The explosion's impact instantaneously killed the bus's driver as it veered off the highway and fell into a ravine burning bushes along the way. In a recorded cell phone call that happened right after the attack on the outskirts of Bishan, two men, believed to be Bilal and Ahmed, could be heard congratulating one another and talking about the tragic result of the blast. The individual, known only as Bilal, expressed his displeasure that only minor damage had been sustained by one of the two buses transporting CGGC personnel. This week in Asia, discovered the Chinese passengers of the second bus concealed beneath a vehicle 500 meters away from the roadway in the same ravine after rescue personnel arrived on the site a few minutes later. They were speechless and severely traumatized. Afghanistan, a haven for terrorists. The results have persuaded police investigators that Derek I Taliban Pakistan TTP, a branch of the Pakistani Taliban led by Tariq Rafiq until his alleged assassination in Kunar province in July 2022 trained suicide bombers in eastern Afghanistan for both attacks. Tariq's TTP comrades gave him the peculiar moniker Button Karab, which means broken switch, after he once built a suicide bomber's jacket that failed to detonate during an attempted attack. According to investigators, Bilal was Tariq's close buddy. The terrorist group, the TTP, has consistently denied any participation in the two attacks on Chinese nationals on Pakistan's Karakoram Highway. Investigators believe this is the case because the Taliban government in Afghanistan, which has repeatedly rejected Pakistan's demands for the group to disband and move to stop it from carrying out cross-border operations, has welcomed the leaders of the TTP together with some 5,000 other militants. Pakistan commenced airstrikes against TTP targets in eastern Afghanistan on March 18, fed up with the Taliban's stubbornness. The Taliban government in Afghanistan has persisted in urging Pakistan and Tajikistan to negotiate a political settlement with the group's affiliates inside their borders. 
claiming that any crackdown would only drive the militants to join Islamic State Khorasan Province (ISIS-K), which was discovered to be the organization responsible for the terrorist attack that occurred in Moscow on March 22. Since taking control following the U.S. pullout from Afghanistan in August 2021, the Taliban has worked to improve ties with China and attract Chinese investment into the dying economy of their poor nation. China sees the Taliban as a crucial ally in the fight against Uyghur separatists who are associated with Afghan-based ISIS-K cells and Al-Qaeda. Beijing acknowledged the diplomatic qualifications of the Taliban's first formal envoy to China in February. The so-called Button Karab Gang is a component of a freelance jihadist, semi-independent network that collaborates with the TTP and other related organizations, according to terrorism researcher Ricardo Valle. He stated that it keeps some autonomy in terms of organizing its offensives. According to Valle, Button Karab himself might still be running the network after escaping the July 2022 assassination attempt and going into hiding. At the time, the TTP merely stated that they had lost contact with him and were unaware of his whereabouts without confirming his death. Even though he was killed, Button Parab and his allies had established a militant network running on family lines which facilitated the movements of vehicles and explosives through legal ways, according to official investigations into the 2021 attack, according to Vale, director of research at the Khorasan Diary, an Islamabad-based platform for security news and analysis with a focus on Afghanistan and Pakistan. Thus, whoever took Button Karab's place might be using the same network, he stated. This week in Asia's interviewee, police officers had reached the same conclusion. They also expressed dissatisfaction with the security authorities' lack of cooperation in defending Chinese citizens employed in Pakistani projects. This was made clear at the scene of the explosion on March 26, where this week in Asia witnessed the security detail assigned to guard the CGGC employees turning down a police officer's request to move the terrified survivors, claiming they would be targets of a follow-up attack. The top three police officers in the area have been officially blamed for the security lapses that resulted in the attack on March 26. They were all suspended on Tuesday.